honey. Morning, Thriller. No, I'm selling the old party jacket on eBay. You know, I wore this bad boy to the Vanilla Ice concert. My uh, friends used to call me Matt Matt Baby. Were they really your friends, Matt? <laughs> Morning. Whoa, what is that? My old uh, party jacket. I'm selling it on eBay. Oh, what a great idea. Tilda, I'll find a temp to replace you for a week. Your mother broke her leg. Just get on a plane and go. Hilda, will you please stop apologizing? Mm, let me talk to her. Hilda, hi. What happened to your mom? Well, she's 85. Why was she rollerblading? <laughs> oh, no, don't worry. Victor will be just fine. And if there's anything I can do. Huh? <laughs> yeah, sure, okay. Yeah. All right, bye. Can you believe that? She asked me to take care of her cat for the week. Yeah, but Marlene, you offered. No, I didn't. I said if there's anything I can do. It's a hollow, meaningless gesture. <laughs> well, I think that's great. There's finally going to be a kitty around the house. I've wanted one since I was a little girl. Why don't you get one? Because I hate cats. <laughs> they always look like they're keeping a secret, and they know something you don't. Plus, they do their business in a box, and I'm telling you, that's just not right. <laughs> Daddy, it'll be fine. Mom and I will take care of the cat. Well, now I have to find a new assistant for a week, and I hate the thought of going through all of those interviews. You know, I could fill in for her. Then again, it's always fun to meet new people. <laughs> Daddy, Matt went to business school. I'm sure he's more than qualified to be your assistant. What do you think, Mom? I think the next time I make an empty gesture, I'm going to make sure the person I'm talking to wasn't raised by wolves. <laughs> Come on, Victor. Give me a chance. I'll do a great job for you. And what the hell? Thank you. And you'll see, you won't regret this. No, you will if my guards catch you in that jacket. <laughs> Make yourself at home. Don't mind me. My house is your house. Your house is my house. We're all family. Tie up my phone. Sit in my chair. Make lots of noise. Get in my hair Make yourself at home Don't mind me So this is pellet armored security Where's all the money? Where are the guns? You want to see the guns? Go near the money <laughs> This is Hilda's desk You'll sit here now, if this phone rings, you'll answer a good morning pellet security. Got it. This is the fax machine. If it rings, don't answer it. You'll get a headache like you wouldn't believe. Doctor, I, I promise I've got everything under control. And, and thanks again for giving me the opportunity. It's okay. And there's just one more little thing. As far as my employees go, you're not my son-in-law. What? Well, I can't let it get out that we're related, that I give you special treatment. Have them come over to dinner sometime. I'm serious. I don't need every guy with an unemployed cousin yelling nepotism. So, as long as you're here, your name isn't Matt. Okay, so what is my name? Doesn't matter. Pick anyone. All right, I'll be Eric. Now you're Vince. I just see myself more as an Eric. Eric from Seattle. Yeah. Now you're Vince from Rhode Island. I don't want to be from Rhode Island. Look, it's make-believe. Be whoever the hell you want to be. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Pellet. Hi, Daryl. Say hello to the new guy, Vince. Hey. He's from Rhode Island. Thank you. Have a good day. What, are you hosting a talk show out here? What's wrong? Well, I don't want you chit-chatting with all the employees. That's just Vince's nature. If you wanted quiet, you should have gone with Eric. <laughs> what happened to that supply requisition the dispatcher sent over? Oh, I uh, processed it and got it to the operations manager. Oh. Well, good work. Uh, listen, I'm going to lunch, and after that I have a few appointments, so I'll be gone for the rest of the day. Wait, you're not coming back? How am I going to get home? I, I rode in with you. No, I rode in with Matt. <laughs> Vince takes the bus. Hey, 
Vince, how you doing? Vince. Vince? Oh, me, Vince. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hey, Rod, this is the new guy, Vince. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hundred grand bar, huh? Hey, you don't want the security cameras catch you walking out of here with a hundred grand. Because it would be like you were stealing the money. <laughs> Get it? I believe I do. <laughs> so how's Mr. Pella treating you? Fine, no problem. Well, he's a good guy. Real easy to get along with. Oh, yeah, he's a sweetheart. You should see his daughter. She is hot. I'm talking smoking. One day she came in wearing this tight hey, little... Hey, 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 you're talking about my boss's daughter. <laughs> yeah, but still, I'd like to yank her taffy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I gotta throw a flag here. There's no need for taffy talk. Imagine being her husband. Yeah, okay, granted, you must be a stud. But uh, he probably doesn't want you talking about his wife. I don't think he'd be that insecure. From what we hear, he's a hell of a guy. Really? Where'd you hear that? From Mr. Pellet. He's always going on about Matt this, Matt that. In a good way? Not in a way that hurts or demeans? <laughs> nah, nah, he's crazy about the guy. Really? What do you know? Well, why wouldn't he be? Matt was all state in football, baseball, and basketball. <laughs> Graduated first in his class at Notre Dame, and now owns a giant sporting goods store. That's what Mr. Pellet said about his son-in-law. His son-in-law, Matt. Yeah, Matt Landis. There is nothing Mr. Pellet likes more than talking about his son-in-law. If you get a chance, you should ask about him. Oh, I plan to. And there's nothing I like more than talking about Mr. Pellet's daughter. Once, at the company picnic, she was in the sack race. And she was jumping. Oh, I get it, Rod. I get it. What are you doing? I thought the new Marlene doesn't cook. I don't, for humans. What, are the Petersons coming over again? No. I'm making seafood gumbo for Choo Choo. Choo Choo? Yeah, Hilda's cat. I think she named him that because he's the size of a freaking train. <laughs> Look at this. Look. Look at this list Hilda gave me. This list of instructions. Choo Choo gets seven different vitamins, ten different supplements, and can only drink distilled water because it can't process minerals. Basically, he's a bubble cat. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. What happened to you? Oh, I was playing with Choo Choo. I think he really likes me. See, he didn't even go for my face. <laughs> anyway, Daddy, I think when he was in your closet, he may have left you a little present in your slipper. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, two can play that game. Marlene, where's his litter box? So how'd it go with you and Matt today? Not bad. He did a good job. See, I told you. Where is he? Didn't he come home with you? No, for some reason, he insisted on taking the bus. Victor, sweetie, I need you to go to the pet store and pick up some supplies for Choo Choo. Oh, come on, Marlene, give me a break. I just spent an hour fighting rush hour traffic. Or you could stay here, put on the falconer's gloves, and try to give him his six o'clock eardrops. Then again, what's the point of having a car if you don't use it? <laughs> oh, no. It's six o'clock already? Where are those safety goggles? Hey, honey. My dad said you did great today. Oh, your dad's been saying a lot of things lately. What do you mean? You're not going to believe it. He's been telling everyone at the office that his son-in-law is some superstar sports guy. Can you believe he's got the nerve to lie about my identity? Well, how do you know this? Some guards told me when I was pretending to be Vince. <laughs> Alex, it's taking so long. Hilda said if Choo Choo doesn't get his eardrops on time, and I quote, the party's over. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on one second, Mom. Matt, what did he say exactly? Your father made up a whole new son-in-law. He told all his employees that I'm this superhero, uh, all state and three sports, Notre Dame valedictorian, own my own sporting goods business. Oh, Alex, that sounds like your old boyfriend, Bobby Robitelli. No, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It's exactly the same. He was a super athlete. He went to Notre Dame, and he owns that huge sporting goods store. Mom. Oh, you're right. It doesn't sound anything like him. Never mind. <laughs> uh, Alex, who's Bobby Robitelli? Bobby was my first serious relationship. Oh, this just keeps getting better. 
Matt, honey, it was five years ago. We went out for a while. It didn't work out, and we ended. He means nothing to me. Well, obviously, you still mean something to your father. Matt, I don't know why my dad said what he said. Okay, this is bizarre, even for him. But, but what does it matter what he tells his employees anyway? You're, you're the man that I love. You're the man that makes me laugh. I just want you to put this whole thing out of your mind, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, and by the way, at the next company picnic, you're sitting out the sack race. <laughs> <laughs> Smells good, Marlene. Yeah. Well, you might want to add a pinch of tarragon to get the subtleties out of the fish. It's for a damn cat, Matt. <laughs> in an hour, it's going to be a gumbo-flavored hairball on my carpet. <laughs> So, uh, Marlene, where's uh, Bobby Robitelli's store? Why do you want to know? I want to see the guy Victor wishes I was. Oh, honey. What good would that do? Well, if I'm going to get Victor to accept me, i got to know what he measures me against. Matt, listen to me. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. You have no reason to compare yourself to anybody. I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, going down there is a bad, bad idea. I'll do your cat cooking all week. Sports town on Route 5. Park in the lot, they validate. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Bobby. You got him. Hold on a sec. Huh. So this is Victor's Superman. Sure, he's a tad more buff than me, but we have a similar macho presence. So what can I do for you? Uh, interested in one of these? Compound bow? Okay. Oh, uh, you should really talk to the owner about that. He's the expert on bows. So he's not even the owner. What was I worried about? That's him over there. His name's Bobby Robitelli. Sweet mother of God! <laughs> what's he, uh, what's he getting an award for? Oh, he's not getting, he's giving. The Bobby Robitelli Award for Excellence in Sports and Citizenship. <laughs> Note to self, have a ward named after me to give to kids. <laughs> Hey, Bobby, this guy wants a compound bow. So he's good looking. Good looks are a dime a dozen. How you doing? Sorry to keep you waiting. So, uh, what kind of draw weight are you looking for? Oh, I don't know. Something in a medium? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this one's a 60. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? Okay. <clears throat> this one seems, uh, stuck. Uh, yeah, here, let, let me see that. God, he's got the strength of ten men. No, I think it's okay. You know, you probably just loosened it up for me. And charming. Damn. So, uh, are you new to archery? Oh, no, no, I've been doing it for years. I just never had a bow. So, uh, so what, you just throw the arrows at the target? <laughs> Pretty much. Sometimes I just run up and jam them in. Huh? <laughs> Forgive me, but, uh, you're not really an archer, are you? Okay, look, uh, the truth is I came down here to sort of check you out. Oh, hey. <laughs> Thanks, I'm flattered, but, uh, you know, you should meet Gordon. He teaches jazzercise across the street. <laughs> No, 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 that, that, that's not what I mean. You used to date the woman I married to, Alex Pellet. Alex? God, I haven't seen her in ages. How's she doing? She's fine. Oh, you got a great lady there. Congratulations, really. I, I wish you all the best. Well, add Gracious to the list, and what a grip. Even I think he's perfect. <laughs> so, uh, what, you came down here to check out the ex-boyfriend? Yeah, I was curious. Sorry to bother you. So, uh, I understand you validate? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, Victor Pellet's your father-in-law, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Tough break. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, man, from the moment I met that guy, he was on my case. Wait, you didn't get along with him? Oh, God, are you kidding? <laughs> Nothing I did was ever good enough for him. He was always busting my chops. Me too. Yeah, and I was all state in three sports and valedictorian at Notre Dame. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> You know, I'll tell you, if you can put up with an overbearing hard ass like Victor Pellet, you are a better man than me. Boy, he makes me feel so good about myself. <laughs> huh? 
Nothing. <laughs> Food, done. Eardrops, done. Take temperature. <laughs> done. Hey, Mom, do you know where Matt is? No, I don't know. I mean, check the basement. Or the den. Or Bobby Robitelli's store. What? You told him where it was? Sorry, honey, but he wanted to see what Bobby was like. Oh, great. Because of Daddy, he went off to compare himself to my old boyfriend. I know, I know. I'm sorry, honey. But on the bright side, I don't have to make the sardine cupcakes for Choo Choo's birthday tomorrow. <laughs> I hate pet stores. You know that one side is all cats and the other side is all birds? I say open up all the cages and let God sort it out. Daddy, how could you lie to everybody at work about who your son-in-law is? Oh, jeez. And why would you possibly give Matt Bobby Robitelli's identity? One day at work, this guy Stu side, and he starts bragging about his son-in-law. So I don't know, it just kind of came out. Well, why couldn't you brag about the real Matt? Sidon's son-in-law is a Navy captain living off the coast of Australia. Mine is a would-be chef living off of me. I had no ammo. Daddy, if Matt's not what you want, that's your problem, okay? But he's what I want. I chose him as my husband, and if you can't accept him for who he is, then what does that say about me? Alex, honey, I'm sorry. Well, that's not good enough. You owe it to Matt to go down there and tell everybody at work the truth. Well, I can't do that. If I tell my men I've been lying to them, then they'll never be able to trust me again. Well, what are you planning to do? Just keep lying about your imaginary son-in-law forever? Well, no, of course not. I figured that over the next year or so that I would let it in slowly that he hit hard times, lost his job, let himself go physically, and then bing, bang, boom, you got the real man. Morning. Morning. Oh, uh, here are your phone messages and your invoices on your desk waiting for you to sign. Look, Matt, I know you found out that I made up stuff about you. So why don't I just cut you a check for the week and you can take off? No, thanks. I don't leave a job till it's done. Well, don't you think you'll feel uncomfortable around here? No. I don't care what you told everyone about me. I know who I am. Vince here. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And you may not be thrilled with me, but you know what? I'm proud of who I am. Hey, Vince. Hey. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, your daughter is married to me, Matt Landis. Vince, your ID is ready in personnel. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, you know, I used to think if I tried hard enough, I'd eventually win your approval, but Bobby Robitelli couldn't do it. No one can. You know the difference between me and Bobby Robitelli? I'm not going anywhere. Well, except to pick up Vince's ID. Morning, fellas. Morning, 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 fellas. Would you all gather around, please? Uh, look, it's, uh, it's not the pledge this time. <laughs> I haven't been exactly straight with you fellas about my son-in-law. Fact is, uh, he's not a great athlete. He didn't graduate from Notre Dame, and he doesn't own a sporting goods store. But he does love my daughter, and she loves him. So with that in mind, I'd like you to meet the real Matt Landis. This is him. He goes to cooking school. He lives in my house. And he's working here because he needs a little extra cash. And I'll tell you something else about him. He's no quitter. That's the real story. 
Are we all square about that? Yeah, sure thing, Mr. P. Thanks for being straight with us. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> so you're Matt, huh? Yeah. That means you're not Vince. <laughs> I believe it does. So you're living off your in-laws? Well, I wouldn't say living off. Oh, you mean you're paying rent? No, no, no. It's just temporary while I go to school. You mean cooking school? Hey, hey, guys, guys, listen. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm living with my in-laws and going to cooking school, but it's only so that one day, with any luck, I can open up my own restaurant. I mean, come on, don't you see? I'm following my dream here. You gotta respect that, right? I get to sleep with Alex Pellet. So he's not even the owner. What was I worried about? That's him over there. His name's Bobby Robitelli. Sweet mother of God! <laughs> what's he, uh, what's he getting an award for? Oh, he's not getting, he's giving. The Bobby Robitelli Award for Excellence in Sports and Citizenship. <laughs> Note to self, have a ward named after me to give to kids. <laughs> hey, Bobby, this guy wants a compound bow. So he's good looking. Good looks are a dime a dozen. How you doing? Sorry to keep you waiting. So, uh, what kind of draw weight are you looking for? Oh, I don't know. Something in a medium? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this one's a 60. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? Okay. <clears throat> this one seems, uh, stuck. Uh, yeah, here, let, let me see that. God, he's got the strength of ten men. No, I think it's okay. You know, you probably just loosened it up for me. And charming. Damn. So, uh, are you new to archery? Oh, no, no. I've been doing it for years. I just never had a bow. So, uh, so what, you just throw the arrows at the target? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Sometimes I just run up and jam them in. Huh? Forgive me, but uh, you're not really an archer, are you? Okay, look, uh, the truth is I came down here to sort of check you out. Oh, hey. <laughs> Thanks, I'm flattered, but, uh, you know, you should meet Gordon. He teaches jazzercise across the street. <laughs> no, 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 that, that's not what I mean. You used to date the woman I married to, Alex Pellet. Alex? God, I haven't seen her in ages. How's she doing? She's fine. You got a great lady there. Congratulations, really. I, I wish you all the best. Well, add Gracious to the list, and what a grip. Even I think he's perfect. <laughs> so, uh, what? You came down here to check out the ex-boyfriend? Yeah, I was curious. Sorry to bother you. So, uh, I understand you validate? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so, Victor Pellet's your father-in-law, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> tough break. What do you mean? Oh, man, from the moment I met that guy, he was on my case. Wait, you didn't get along with him? Oh, God, are you kidding? Nothing I did was ever good enough for him. He was always busting my chops. Me too. Yeah, and I was all state in three sports and valedictorian at Notre Dame. Me too. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you, if you can put up with an overbearing hard ass like Victor Pellet, you are a better man than me. Leave a job till it's done. Well, don't you think you'll feel uncomfortable around here? No. I don't care what you told everyone about me. I know who I am. Vince here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you may not be thrilled with me, but you know what? I'm proud of who I am. Hey, Vince. Hey. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, your daughter is married to me. 
Matt Landis. Vince, your ID is ready in personnel. Thank you. Listen, you know, I used to think if I tried hard enough, I'd eventually win your approval, but Bobby Robitelli couldn't do it. No one can. You know the difference between me and Bobby Robitelli? I'm not going anywhere. Well, except to pick up Vince's ID. <laughs> Morning, fellas. Good morning, Good morning, Would you all gather around, please? Uh, look, it's uh, it's not the pledge this time. I haven't been exactly straight with you fellas about my son-in-law. Fact is, uh, he's not a great athlete. He didn't graduate from Notre Dame, and he doesn't own a sporting goods store. But he does love my daughter, and she loves him. So with that in mind, I'd like you to meet the real Matt Landis. This is him. He goes to cooking school. He lives in my house. And he's working here because he needs a little extra cash. And I'll tell you something else about him. He's no quitter. That's the real story. Are we all square about that? Yeah, yeah sure thing, Mr. P. Thanks for being straight with us. Thank you, Victor. So you're Matt, huh? Yeah. That means you're not Vince. <laughs> I believe it does. So you're living off your in-laws? Well, I wouldn't say living off. Oh, you mean you're paying rent? No, no, no. It's just temporary while I go to school. You mean cooking school? Hey, hey, guys, guys, listen. Okay, fine, yeah. I'm living with my in-laws and going to cooking school, but it's only so that one day, with any luck, I can open up my own restaurant. I mean, come on, don't you see? See that? God, he's got the strength of ten men. No, I think it's okay. You know, you probably just loosened it up for me. And charming. Damn. So, uh, are you new to archery? Oh, no, no. I've been doing it for years. I just never had a bow. <laughs> so, uh, so what, you just throw the arrows at the target? <laughs> uh, pretty much. Sometimes I just run up and jam them in. Huh? <laughs> Forgive me, but uh, you're not really an archer, are you? Okay, look, uh, the truth is I came down here to sort of check you out. Oh, hey. <laughs> Thanks, I'm flattered, but, uh, you know, you should meet Gordon. He teaches jazzercise across the street. <laughs> no, 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 that, that's not what I mean. You used to date the woman I married to, Alex Pellet. Alex? God, I haven't seen her in ages. How's she doing? She's fine. You got a great lady there. Congratulations, really. I, I wish you all the best. Well, add Gracious to the list, and what a grip. Even I think he's perfect. <laughs> so, uh, what? You came down here to check out the ex-boyfriend? Yeah, I was curious. Sorry to bother you. So, uh, I understand you validate? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so, Victor Pellet's your father-in-law, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Tough break. What do you mean? Oh, man, from the moment I met that guy, he was on my case. Wait, you didn't get along with him? Oh, God, are you kidding? Nothing I did was ever good enough for him. He was always busting my chops. Me too. Yeah, and I was all state in three sports and valedictorian at Notre Dame. Me too. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you, if you can put up with an overbearing hard ass like Victor Pellet, you are a better man than me. Boy, he makes me feel so good about myself. <laughs> huh? Nothing. <laughs> Food, done. Eardrops, done. 
take temperature. <laughs> Done. <laughs> hey, Mom, do you know where Matt is? No, I don't know. I mean, check the basement or the den or Bobby Robotelli's store. <laughs> What? You told him where it was? Sorry, but he wanted to see what Bobby was like. Oh, great. Because of Daddy, he went off to compare himself to my old boyfriend. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Thanks, I'm flattered. But, uh, you know, you should meet Gordon. He teaches jazzercise across the street. <laughs> no, 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 that, that's not what I mean. You used to date the woman I married to, Alex Pellet. Alex? God, I haven't seen her in ages. How's she doing? She's fine. You got a great lady there. Congratulations, really. I, I wish you all the best. Well, add Gracious to the list, and what a grip. Even I think he's perfect. <laughs> so, uh, what? You came down here to check out the ex-boyfriend? Yeah, I was curious. Sorry to bother you. So, uh, I understand you validate? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so, Victor Pellet's your father-in-law, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Tough break. What do you mean? Oh, man, from the moment I met that guy, he was on my case. Wait, you didn't get along with him? Oh, God, are you kidding? Nothing I did was ever good enough for him. He was always busting my chops. Me too. Yeah, and I was all state in three sports and valedictorian at Notre Dame. Me too. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you, if you can put up with an overbearing hard ass like Victor Pellet, you are a better man than me. Boy, he makes me feel so good about myself. <laughs> huh? Nothing. <laughs> Food, done. Eardrops, done. Take temperature. Done. <laughs> hey, Mom, do you know where Matt is? No, I don't know. I mean, check the basement or the den or Bobby Robotelli's store. <laughs> what? You told him where it was? Sorry, but he wanted to see what Bobby was like. Oh, great. Because of Daddy, he went off to compare himself to my old boyfriend. I know, I know. I'm sorry, honey. But on the bright side, I don't have to make the sardine cupcakes for Choo Choo's birthday tomorrow. I hate pet stores. You know that one side is all cats and the other side is all birds? I say open up all the cages and let God sort it out. Daddy, how could you lie to everybody at work about who your son-in-law is? Oh, jeez. And why would you possibly give Matt Bobby Robitelli's identity? One day at work, this guy Stu side, and he starts bragging about his son-in-law. So I don't know what just kind of came out. Well, why couldn't you brag about the real Matt? Sidon's son-in-law is a Navy captain living off the coast of Australia. Mine is a would-be chef living off of me. Oh, and by the way, at the next company picnic, you're sitting out the sack race. <laughs> <laughs> Smells good, Marlene. Mm. Well, you might want to add a pinch of tarragon to get the subtleties out of the fish. It's for a damn cat, Matt. In an hour, it's gonna be a gumbo-flavored hairball on my carpet. So, uh, Marlene, where's uh, Bobby Robitelli's store? Why do you wanna know? I wanna see the guy Victor wishes I was. Oh, honey, what good would that do? Well, if I'm gonna get Victor to accept me, I gotta know what he measures me against. Matt, listen to me. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. You have no reason to compare yourself to anybody. I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, going down there is a bad, bad idea. I'll do your cat cooking all week. Sports town on Route 5. Park in the lot, they validate. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Bobby. You got him. Hold on a sec. Huh. So this is Victor Superman. Sure, he's a tad more buff than me, but we have a similar macho presence. So what can I do for you? Uh, interested in one of these? Compound bow? Okay. Oh, uh, 
You should really talk to the owner about that. He's the expert on bows. So he's not even the owner. What was I worried about? That's him over there. His name's Bobby Robitelli. Sweet mother of God! <laughs> what's he, uh, what's he getting an award for? Oh, he's not getting, he's giving. The Bobby Robitelli Award for Excellence in Sports and Citizenship. <laughs> Note to self, have a ward named after me to give to kids. Hey, Bobby, this guy wants a compound bow. So he's good looking. Good looks are a dime a dozen. How you doing? Sorry to keep you waiting. So, uh, what kind of draw weight are you looking for? Oh, I don't know, something in a medium. <laughs> okay, uh, well, this one's a 60. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? Okay. <clears throat> This one seems, uh, stuck. Uh, yeah, here, let, let me see that. God, he's got the strength of 10 men. No, I think it's okay. You know, you probably just loosened it up for me. And charming, damn. So, uh, are you new to archery? Oh, no, no, I've been doing it for years. I just never had a bow. So, uh, so what, you just throw the arrows at the target? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Sometimes I just run up and jam them in. Huh? Forgive me, 